If you're obese or overweight, you're at a higher risk for so many different things. Cardiovascular disease, diabetes type 2, high blood pressure, and the list goes on and on and on. And some of these things won't kill you right away. But over time is when these things really start taking negative effect to your body and a negative effect to your health, causing a lower quality of life. And who wants that? I don't want a lower quality of life. You guys probably don't want a lower quality of life. If anything, people want to improve a quality of life. They want to feel better. They want more energy. They want to be better in the bedroom. They want to have better experiences all together. People want to be in shape. It's not like people that are overweight or obese say, you know what, I want to be obese. I'm going to stay obese. They don't do that. They don't do that. Especially if you've been obese or overweight as a kid and you grew up like that, you probably tried every fad diet, every infomercial, whatever it is out there to help you lose weight. And a lot of these things are garbage and did not help you guys at all, right? And then you get unmotivated. You, you know, you get like, you get really negative about it. And, and then, you know, this negativity starts going out there, that vibe, right? Your vibe is contagious, whether it's a positive vibe or a negative vibe. Now, I'm not saying that all overweight people or obese have negative vibes because I've met some really, really sweethearts that are obese or overweight. I love them for who they are. I could care less about their weight. But do I want them to be healthier? Do I want them to feel better? Do I want them to feel better about themselves? Yes, absolutely. And most people that are overweight and obese that do transformations and get a transformation so feel so much better about themselves and they increase confidence with themselves and they're able to go out there and do more things. This is key. This is improving quality of life. If you're loving yourself more and not hating yourself or picking out your flaws. Now listen, I don't care who you are, me, Michael Hearn, Drew, uh, supermodels, whoever it is, everybody looks at themselves in the mirror and everybody can find their flaws because everybody's got a flaw. I don't care what it is. It could be a mole on your face. It could be being overweight. It could be your feet are too small. Your toes are all crooked. Something on your body might be flawed in your mind. It might not be flawed to somebody else. But maybe it's fine. You look great. What's the matter with you? But at that point, you can see these things. And what's the biggest thing? You want You want change, right? And if you look at yourself in the mirror every single day and you're not doing anything about it, you're not taking any sort of action whatsoever. There's no action plan then you're just lying to yourself, right? You're not doing anything to help yourself. You're not taking any form of action to go do it.